Hello everyone, Vita is to be here back with how to play another trick technique. Today we're looking at how to play this game, St. Patrick by Madigo. Uh, and this just came out whoop, fairly recently, I do believe. A year or two ago, I can't tell. Came out in 2022, so yeah. It's very just 10 and up, 3 to 4 players. It's a trick taking game. And uh, let's look at it. So in this game, now it has a little fun fact. This has a very Saint, well, St. Patrick's Day theme, a very Irish theme. And it also has to do with snakes. Incidentally, there is apparently no snakes in Ireland. So uh, I'll be moving there shortly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, although that might be nice. You get in this game 36 cards. In four suits, numbers one through nine, you got these white Celtic crosses, you got these harps in orange, you get these clovers in green, and the snakes in this gold and black with gold foil on them. But you also get some other special cards. In each of the three main suits, you get some special sevens. In the orange and the white suits, you get these snakes. These are worth three points each. Every one of these cards, the black ones, is worth one point each. And it's kind of like the game of hearts, where you don't want to win those cards. These cards, they bite you, and they hurt you, and you lose life points. And you don't want to do that. I believe each player starts off with 20 life points, and then you're going to be subtracting points. And whoever has the most points once somebody hits 20 or has lost 20, uh, whoever has still has the most life points left over wins the game, uh, basically. But there's one more seven, and it's the green seven. It's St. Pat himself. And whoever has this one starts the game. So we'll shuffle these up a little bit here. You got shamrocks, harps, Celtic crosses, and snakes is what they are. And you get these 15 relics. So each player is going to get a hand of cards dealt out to them. We'll just do a free player setup. You're going to deal out all the cards. And let's see who has the green seven. We'll say this is this is the one that has the grade seven. So they get to start. Now the first thing you're gonna do is look at the cards you have and take a certain amount of these, however many you, you kind of want. So maybe this guy says he'll take three. This guy says he looks at his cards, he wants three as well. Then it comes to me. And I say, you know what? I want five. <laughs> Maybe I want four. I'll take four. Then it comes to this player. And they can either take more. Maybe they take one more. Or they can pass. And then maybe this guy passes and I pass. Once two out of three people have passed, that's it. We're done at this round. We can put the rest of these aside. If all of these get taken, everyone has gotten greedy. And you these become cursed. And you have to put them back. Everyone would put them back. And you would do another round. If it happens again, you're going to start losing points. You're going to get punished. So you don't want to get greedy. You don't want to take all these. What these are, there are protections from snake bites. So if I win a trick that has a snake in it, this protects me from a bite. Four bites. So I'll explain that in a bit. So the person who has the seven is going to start. We'll put these aside. They don't have to play the 7 to start, although they could, maybe they do. And it is a must follow, so if you play green card, everyone else has to play a green card. Maybe this guy plays this one, and I will play this one, because I'm not going to win the trick. Well, actually, I could win the trick. Maybe I do want to win the trick. If you win a trick that doesn't have snakes in it like this one, you just put those cards aside, they're out of the game. Uh, let's say now I play... 
This might be a dumb move, but I'm going to play a snake card. A nine. And everyone else has to follow suit. So this guy's going to play this one. And this guy's going to play... Maybe he plays his eight. And I'm going to collect these cards in front of me, face up, so that everyone can see them. And then you continue. We play another card. Maybe this time I play the white eight. Although that might be silly. Uh, but this guy plays his two. And this guy plays a nine and wins a trick. And those cards get removed. And then he leads the next trick. Uh, maybe he plays the orange seven. Uh, I don't want the orange seven, so I'm going to play it safe and play it free. And this guy, he doesn't want that either, so he's just going to play a six. And this guy wins, so he's going to keep that seven. And he leads the next trick. Maybe he plays this seven. Uh, I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to play this seven and get rid of it. Whoever plays the highest card of the suit lead is going to win the trick. So currently, I'm not going to win that one. And this guy just gets rid of this four. So this guy wins those cards. At the end of the game, everyone's going to have uh, some cards face up in front of him. So... Let's just say we've gone through the game. You know, this guy maybe won that in a trick. Actually, maybe, maybe we'll say, yeah, he won that. This guy, you know, won some other cards. We'll just, just hang on a sec. Just bear with me. <laughs> that guy does not have a good hand. He's going to win a bunch of those. So then you're going to look at what you got. I got three bites, but I got four relics. So these relics protect me from these bites, so I don't lose any points. This guy is the same situation. He got one bite, one snake bite, so he's protected. However, my friend over here is not in such luck. He has three relics, and he's got a bunch of bites. One, two, three, four, five... Plus, these are three each, so that's six more. So he's got 11. He's got three that will protect him from, let's say, one of these cards. And he's going to score the rest of the points. So he's going to get five, seven, eight. Eight taken off of his 20 life points, so he's down to 12 life points. Hopefully that makes sense. So then you're going to deal up, you're going to suffer up the cards again. Deal them out. These, uh, I believe they get thrown back into the middle of the table. I, I apologize if I'm wrong. Let me just verify. So yeah, if you get greedy... And everyone takes all of these relics. You're going to lose that many life points. So if we did this. This person would lose 5 points. I would lose 4. This person would lose 6. And then they would go back into the middle of the table. And we would go over that again. So you want to try to not be greedy. And make sure that you don't take the last relics. Otherwise unless you really want to screw over somebody else. Let's say you know these people got greedy. They had a bunch. And... I only collected one, and then I say, you know what, I'll take the last one. You guys are going to lose a bunch of points, and I only lose two. <laughs> so you can, you can do that and screw people over if you want. And you can pass on collecting these and, get, and keep one around the table until at least two people have passed. So you can pass on it multiple times. Maybe you don't collect any relics, maybe you collect a few. Uh, but you do want to have some relics to protect yourself from the snake bites. Which is the snake cards. The snake cards are points. You don't want points. So you want to protect yourself from those. Um... So yes, let me just see something here. So 
the trick taking part is called the snake hunt or the hunting snakes and um most of the cards are harmless except for the ones that have snakes on them and you're gonna subtract in obviously the number of relics he took to protect you from the bites Now, it is possible to do something else, and that is, like in a game of hearts, you can shoot the moon. So if you win all the snake bites, all the snake cards, including those two sevens, you shoot the moon, and you don't lose any points, and everyone else is actually going to lose three life points. And I don't believe it matters if they have relics or not. They get penalized either way. In sync. Because that other player... They sacrificed himself, and they took all the snake bites. <laughs> so yeah, once one person has lost at least 20 life points, which will bring their score to below zero, that's the end of the game. And whoever has the highest remaining life score wins the game. It could be below zero if everyone has lost all the life points. Whoever has lost the least amount of life points would win the game. If there's a tie, it says we start the whole game and play again until we have one single victor. <laughs> Fun. So if there's a tie, you do it all over again. That's that's interesting. But yeah, it's kind of a cool little trick-taking game. It's basically like hearts uh, with the life points and whatnot, with the snakes being the hearts, basically. If you know how to play hearts, you know how to play this game, more or less. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. The cards do have a nice bit of linen finish to them. Decent quality, and these are fine for what they are. So that is that. That's St. Patrick. Comment, like, subscribe, and I know what you think. We'll see you next time. More thanks for watching.